Keith Krantz here with Dominate Web Media and in this video I want to go over the basics of Facebook advertising, why you want to use Facebook advertising and why you want to use page post ads uh, when you're running ads and it's a great way to get started because they're really easy to do and you can get cheap clicks and you can really target your market. It's a great way to get traffic to your website, get traffic into your business, uh, get people to call you, get people to join your email list and to get more fans. It's just a great way overall to use Facebook ads. And there's a lot of different ways to use Facebook advertising, but over the past few months, this page post kind of sponsored story is, is really a, a, a really effective way to run ads. Um, just let me show you the pricing on some of the ads that we're doing right now. So, so if you take a look at this page here, this is a campaign that we're running right now, just in the past seven days. And we've gotten 67,000 impressions, 523 clicks, 700 actions, which is a, a like, a comment, or a share, 0.7 click-through rate, which is really, really high. Um, don't you know take that with a grain of salt. Some campaigns that you run, you might be trying to get a 0.1 click-through rate. I'm not, I'm not talking 1.0, I'm talking a 0.1. So um, it depends you know, on the kind of ad. But this is another reason that you want to do these page post style ads, which I'll show you here in a second, because you do get a higher click-through rate. If you're used to seeing Google AdWords and those types of click-through rates, you might think this is low. But with Facebook, because this is this is a click-through rate for you know the the whole impressions that, that this ad is out there, so it's it, it's actually a really high click through rate. So you can be really successful with ads that only have a 0 0.06 click through rate. So which is 0 0.06 or 0 0.07, which would be you know 10 times less than this one, and you can still have a really successful ad campaign. So um, in this situation, though, fifty one dollars was spent and an average of 10 cents per click. So if you look down here at this one, you've got 500 clicks, 500 clicks, and it costs $45, 115 page likes. Pretty cool stuff. So um, let's go over here, and I'm just gonna show you how to create one of these page post ads, okay? And I'll show you the differences between the different style of ads right now, okay? So uh, when you're running a Facebook ad, you can run a Facebook ad anywhere you want it. You can send it to, uh, an external URL to a landing page to your regular website uh, you, or you can send it to a Facebook landing page maybe you, you created a landing page within Facebook and it's a, a separate tab then all you have to do is basically put that URL in here okay or you can choose a Facebook page which I'm gonna do in this case so I'm gonna click my my page dominate web media and now what I can do is I can they have this is this is actually brand new, the formatting here, literally within the last like, you know, three days. Um, but, so it's a good time for this video, but basically they give you three choices. And one of them is get more page likes. And this is kind of, they set it up here as the easiest, you know, for somebody that doesn't doesn't have any experience, you can, you can use this setting. And notice down here, the, the way they have it is, is you cannot change the, the headline, okay? Because, you're, you're trying to get more likes and you're targeting your Facebook page. So in this situation, you can only change the text of the ad, okay? And so you can create some kind of captivating text, getting people to like your page, okay? I'm not gonna recommend doing that type of ad right now. I would rather you do a promote page post ad, okay? Or a, an advanced option, which is basically the same thing. They just give you more options for choosing bidding. So I would rather you use the, the advanced option right here, okay? And so in this situation, what you're gonna do is check this out. So choose an existing page post. Look at all this, it lists all the posts on my page. Okay, so hold on a second here. So let's come over to my business page, Dominate Web Media, and basically I can put up a post. So in this situation, I put up a post saying, uh, help me name my radio show. Okay, here it is, and then I uploaded an, an image here, and I've got some text here. If I wanted to, though, I could actually have a post like this. Okay, check this out over here. Recorded the webinar with James Shramko is up and live. Click here. And so now, what this is, as an actual post, but I uploaded an image, but I put a link in here, which is takes them to the recorded webinar, or in this situation, the actual registration for the live webinar over here. Okay. Now what I can do is go back to my advertising section, whoops, and it lets me choose any post. So I first step is just to create a post, 
and you, if you want you want to to be the most successful with these ads you're going to want to upload an image or a video okay you can upload a a youtube link for a video or you can upload an actual video file or you can just do an image and if you look at this image right here this took me less than five minutes to do using keynote okay you can use keynote or power up you can use keynote or powerpoint and you can create a quick image and then all you have to do is take a screenshot of that image and and it's saved as an as an image and so that is going to be a little shortcut for you for for creating images but uh, even before you do that, you can start running ads. It's, it's awesome. So what you do is, let's say I did this one, and then I'm going to hit, uh, we're not going to use advanced options right now. It's for tagging your URLs and for tracking. Um, but we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Okay. And we'll go ahead and keep these three checked here. And it shows you a little uh, sample news feed story. Because the thing is, is people, the, the great thing about these page post ads is they don't just show up on the right side of the page they actually show up in the news feed and if somebody has a mobile phone which more and more people are using you guys know that then it shows up on their news feed on their mobile phone it's the only way you're going to get an ad out there you can't do the regular standard facebook ad it won't show up on mobile okay so then you're going to choose your audience now over here this is where you want to really target as the best you can so for example um, I might pick 25 years and up, or I might pick uh, maybe if I'm targeting, you know, maybe if I'm targeting weight loss, I might be char targeting 30 to 55 year old women and that like certain things that women like. Maybe they like uh, certain magazines like Shape Magazine or Oprah or, or something like that. You're going to try to find an interest that they like. So let's just stick with the US and I'll do, I can go to men, I can go to women. Um, I can do whatever I want there. Let's say I want to stick with women, and let's just say I want to go women that are into that are entrepreneurs. So I can click on that, and now you look over here. My audience can reach 443,000 people, and then it shows up some great examples here. So maybe I want women that are into wealth and internet marketing, entrepreneurship, business networking, entrepreneur magazine. Okay, you can see you get the point here. Um, and I can really narrow it down if I want to take some of those out and if I want to start changing uh, some other things like their age and stuff. So then I'm going to go down here and this is the broad categories. I usually try to stay away from broad categories. Um, it's, it's really tough to narrow it down. You really want to be more targeted. So in this situation, uh, it changes it just to people that are interested in all this stuff and event planning down to 1480. So... Um, if you just do broad category and don't do any precise, it's gonna be you're gonna get really big numbers. Uh, if you do precise and broad, you're gonna be able to narrow down a lot more. But sometimes it'll be too narrow. So it's kind of one of those things that, to be honest with you, you should just test and just try get in here and just test. And then you're gonna want to run uh, different ads with different targeting. Uh, interests precise interests in broad categories because that way you can really test and see which ones are more uh, which ones perform the best so you can separate out maybe 25 to 34 year olds 35 to 44 year olds and then you can separate out maybe one that's targeted after entrepreneurs and business networking and then maybe you do another one that's targeted after uh, somebody like Tony Robbins or something like that so if you look at Tony Robbins here Anthony Robbins uh, you see, he's got a big audience here. Why did it? There we go. There it is. There. And I can just take away all of these, and you just see just the people that like Tony Robbins is a pretty dang big audience 355,000 people. So, pretty cool. So, then what you can also do is you can do some pretty cool stuff here target people whose friends are connected to Dominate Web Media. Okay, 1860. Now that's just people that like Tony Robbins and are connected to Dominate Web Media. So you can start to look at some of these other ones here and add up some numbers here. Now I'm talking about, look at this, these people that are all into this motivational, you know, growing, starting a business types of types of uh, interests. And they're also connected. They have somebody that is a friend. I'm sorry. They have somebody that they are friends with that is a fan of Dominate Web Media. So the power of these types of ads are when somebody sees that ad on their on their sidebar on the wall or in the newsfeed, it'll actually 
below that, it'll show that somebody else they know, like Susie, likes, also likes this. So there's going to be that social proof, and it's going to get them to click on it more often. So um, you're not going to get as many clicks from these just because you're talking about a smaller number of people, but you're going to get a really high click-through rate. So it's another thing to test, but you want to separate those out. So you might want to run an ad that's not connected to your page at all, and then another ad that is connected to your page. So... And what I just showed you, that's another reason why you want to grow your fan base. You want to run Facebook ads that are kind of just targeted to get fans. You want to run Facebook ads that are, you know, targeted to get people to come look at your offer and, you know, eventually buy something after they build a relationship with you. But the more fans that you have, the more people that will be connected to your page. And it grows exponentially because the average person has 230 friends. So... It really does grow exponentially. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, you just saw what happened when I showed you that. My page only has less than 5,000 fans, and and it's uh, just just a few categories. It's, it's related to, to 12,000, but if I made this broad, I could be literally targeting 100,000 people uh, if I went even more broad with my interests. So, Okay, so when you're going to get to the bidding, I, I suggest that you, to be safe, you're going to want to optimize for clicks, okay? Don't let Facebook optimize this stuff for you. Do it yourself and watch it. Optimize for clicks and manually set a value for clicks. Uh, they want you to automatically do it because then they're going to rip you off, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but manually set a value, and and now you can pick a... Pick a uh, they show you the suggested bid. What I like, to, a lot of people will say to do is start with the lowest bid, then see what happens. To be honest with you, I like to start with the higher bid, like 86 or 87. I like to start with the highest one. So now I get the best positioning to start start off. And by doing that, by getting the best positioning of my ad, because it's, it's an auction, you know, so the people that bid higher are going to get better positioning. But then once your ad starts to run, the performance of your ad is going to take over. So Facebook will show the ads that get clicked on more often. So if you have a high click-through rate ad, your ad will get shown more. But more importantly, the price per click will drop significantly. So I might bid $0.87 cents on this. But if I have a high-performing ad, if I have a great image and a good call to, a good headline, then it might end up costing me 10, 11, 12 cents like those ads that I just showed you, showed you. Or it might cost 30 or 40 cents, you know, for, for some markets that I'm in, uh, for like social media marketing and stuff like that. A lot of my ads end up costing 30, 40, 50, 60 cents a click sometimes. Um, but if I'm doing some of these ads that are just towards my page posts, they might cost me like 15 or 20 cents a click. It just really depends. But, you know, don't always bid low. You can test that. But what really determines your price is the, the effectiveness of your ad a lot more than your bid. So that's why I don't mind bidding high to begin with because then if I know I have a good performing ad, it's going to come down right away. And if it's a bad performing ad, then I'll probably just stop it and create a new one anyways. So then you just hit uh, place order and campaign budget, $10. You can, you can change that if you want, but we'll go ahead and leave that there. You can put it whatever you want and then uh, we'll hit place order. And that's what it does. And then, and then you can uh, pause your ads anytime. You can come take a look at them. I'm not going to go into any, many more details on this, this video, but I wanted to get you the basics and let you understand the, uh, the, uh, the power of creating these page post ads. They're awesome. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a lot more detailed, a lot more advanced trainings inside the Facebook Advertising Blueprint and inside the Internet Marketing Boardroom where I've got a ton of other videos and I've got, uh, of course, I've got my book, The Complete Guide to Facebook Advertising. So I, I would recommend uh, getting in there and, and learning more, but uh, this should be getting you on your way. So hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.